In the absolute silence of the cosmos, something pulses, a signal with rhythm and pattern, something like a beat that insists on crossing the void. In 2022, in the remote interior of Western Australia, the antennas of the ASCAP radio telescope were scanning the skies. Like giant eyes pointed toward infinity, they recorded everything, explosions, stellar whispers, echoes of galaxy births. But then, something different appeared. A radio burst lasting two minutes, then silence. And then, once again, two minutes of interaction followed once more by absolute silence. A pattern, precise, almost deliberate. Who or what could emit a signal like that? The phenomenon was named ASCAP J1832-0911, a sequence of letters and numbers, but behind a name, a mystery. Radio bursts are nothing new. Pulsars, neutron stars spinning at extremely high speeds emit similar signals. But pulsars rotate fast, hundreds of times per second. This new phenomenon is much slower. Two minutes of pulse, followed by 44 minutes of silence. A process that repeats like a cosmic stopwatch. Scientists sought confirmation using other instruments, and then the unexpected. From space, the Chandra telescope, sensitive to X-rays, provided a crucial confirmation. At the exact moment of the radio bursts, X-ray emissions were also occurring. These events were simultaneous, synchronized. We had never seen anything like it before. What could produce such a coordinated dance between radio waves and X-rays? Some scientists propose a magnetar, neutron stars with magnetic fields thousands of times stronger than Earth's. But even the most extreme magnetars don't follow a pattern like this. Others suggest a binary system, perhaps a highly magnetized white dwarf orbiting another star in a choreography we don't yet understand. But there are those who dare to go further. Perhaps it's something new, a type of cosmic object never before seen, a new class, a new physics. The boundary of the unknown seems to have shifted a little further. For weeks, the phenomenon emitted its pulses, like a lighthouse lost at sea. And then, without warning, it stopped, leaving only silence behind. The signal was gone, and all that remains is doubt. ASCAP J1832-091 didn't just raise questions, it broke patterns. In over a century of radio astronomy, humanity has learned to classify, measure, predict, but now, we are faced with something that escapes all established standards. The cosmos has presented us with a new challenge, or perhaps an invitation. How many other signals like this have gone unnoticed? How many slow pulsers, how many silent emitters are out there, hidden in the vastness, waiting for our ears to become more sensitive? Behind the scenes of the great observatories, a new movement is underway. ASCAP continues monitoring the deep sky, as does Chandra, watching space with renewed eyes. Telescopes around the world are on alert. Perhaps you, right now, are also involved. All it takes is to look up. Space is not silent. It pulses. It speaks. It's up to us to listen. Since J1832-1111 was discovered, other similar signals have begun to appear. A few, incomplete, but they're out there. Perhaps the universe is presenting us with a new symphony, an unknown language, still without a dictionary, but full of rhythm. Our instruments evolve, our minds expand, and with each new discovery, we realize how little we still know. For billions of years, these objects existed in silence, beyond the reach of our perception. Now, for the first time, we hear their echoes. Like archaeologists of the cosmos, we unearth the signals that tell the story of the universe. Perhaps the most fascinating thing about all of this is that it reminds us that we are part of it. That every particle in our bodies was forged in stars that pulsed before us. In the end, more questions remain than answers, and that is good, but at the same time, unsettling.
because it's in this space between the known and the unknown where the true wonder of science resides. Perhaps ASCAP J1832-11-1 is not a distant object. Perhaps it is a reminder that there will always be more to discover, that the sky still holds secrets, and that as long as there are questions, there will be a search. Throughout history, humanity has always looked to the sky in search of answers. From ancient navigators guided by constellations to modern astronomers scanning the universe with electronic eyes, the impulse is the same, to understand our place in the cosmos. The discovery of ASCAP 1832-11-1 is not a conclusion. It's a new comma in a story that began long before we had names for the stars. Imagine for a moment the immensity of the universe, trillions of galaxies, each with billions of stars. And amid all this, a small point sends out silent pulses over and over. It's like finding a lighthouse in the middle of an endless ocean. But this lighthouse doesn't guide ships. It guides our curiosity. There's something intriguing about this kind of discovery an object that pulses for a few days, then disappears. It's ephemeral. It's rare. It's like a visitor that arrives, whispers something important, and leaves before we can ask all our questions. Perhaps we'll never see it again, but the impact remains. The astronomers involved in the discovery describe the moment with words rarely heard in laboratories. Awe, beauty, wonder. Because sometimes the unknown is not just a challenge. It's also a gift, a chance to remember that the universe is far vaster than any mathematical model can predict. The tools we use to explore space also tell a fascinating story. ASCAP, for instance, represents a new generation of telescopes capable of observing wide areas of the sky with great sensitivity. It doesn't just observe, it listens. Like an echo hunter, it records cosmic murmurs that other instruments might miss. Its discovery wasn't an accident. It was the result of engineering, patience, and the eternal human drive to seek the unseen. And what about Chandra? This space observatory, floating in Earth's orbit, specializes in detecting the universe's most energetic phenomena, black holes, stellar explosions, galactic collisions. The fact that it captured the same signal in X-rays that ASCAP detected in radio waves makes the discovery even more mysterious. It's as if two different worlds were hearing the same melody in different frequencies. What exists at the frontier between radio and X-rays? An exotic magnetic field? A rotating structure made of degenerate matter? Or perhaps something we don't even have a name for yet? And then comes the most unsettling question. What if this isn't a natural phenomenon, not in the traditional sense at least? What if we're witnessing a kind of emergent behavior of the universe, something like a signature of processes we don't yet understand? The scientific hypotheses are fascinating, but limited. And that's where the beauty of science lies, in its willingness to admit doubt. The universe is not obliged to fit into our models. We are the ones who must expand those models as new discoveries emerge. Meanwhile, the scientific community is mobilizing. New algorithms are being developed to track similar patterns in past data. Telescopes not yet built are already being planned to search for these kinds of signals. Even citizen science projects are being prepared, allowing ordinary people, like you and me, to help identify these enigmatic pulses. There's a collective energy that forms in the face of mystery, as if an entire generation of scientists, engineers, students, and enthusiasts is being called to collaborate. Because there's something profoundly human in trying to decipher the unknown. It's like looking into the darkness and lighting a candle, even if we don't know if anyone is on the other side. Deep down, perhaps we are witnessing a new way of doing science, a way that involves large-scale data, global cooperation, artificial intelligence, and above all, a willingness to listen. To listen not just to what we already understand, but to what we don't. Because the universe speaks in many languages, it's up to us to learn them. And so we return to the beginning, a pulse, a silence, another pulse. 
In the rhythm between presence and absence, the cosmos offers us more than answers. It offers meaning. And when we look up, searching for these signals, we're not just trying to understand the stars. We're trying to understand ourselves. If you'd like to keep exploring the mysteries of the cosmos with us, subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. Share this moment with someone who also feels the call of the stars. Because the next signal might already be on its way.